Hey guys, Kunia again from Mike Graphics Dibbon, Application Engineer. So today I was asked another query about how do we turn on or revert back to a toolbar system in AutoCAD. Now Autodesk for many years now, since I think 2010 I could be mistaken, um, they've been pushing to try and get people onto the ribbon system, which is the big thing that you see up here. But you still get a, a lot of the good golden oldie draftsmen out there who still very much set in it that they want their toolbars. And the nice thing about it is that you can get them back actually with minimal effort. Uh, it's not a difficult thing to do. So now what we're going to do is take a look how to do that. It's actually a very straightforward process. And I'm going to take you through step for step on how you do this. So when you first open up AutoCAD and you get to your normal screen, all you have to do is use the drop down by the quick access toolbar at the top over here. You go all the way down the drop down, all the way down until you see show menu bar and just click it. You'll notice now that you've got the menu bar on the top here and you've got the ribbon at the bottom. So now what we can do is we can go tools, drop down to toolbars and you notice that I've got AutoCAD and Express. You'll only see the Express if you've got full AutoCAD. If you've got AutoCAD LT, you won't have the Express features. So we're going to go to AutoCAD, and in here you've got an array of different tools inside here. Now, obviously, they're probably using things like um, the Draw. So when we click Draw, you'll notice we've got the Draw that pops up. You can dock these around as you wish. Just quickly show you another one. So tools, toolbars, AutoCAD, and let's go to modify. And you'll notice there's the modifier popped up to the right. Just be aware that where it's busy snapping around. And you can dock these however you want. Now, that's all fine and dandy. And you can then go and go through the tools, toolbars, AutoCAD list, and then find what you want in there and you can attach them on as you wish. Uh, if you want to you can also close the ribbon by just typing in ribbon and you can see there my quick access close or you could just click on that ribbon close and that closes the ribbon and now you can see we've got a much uh, more well much more classic type of view that of AutoCAD and you can then draw the toolbars. So this can help you re revert back to a more classic view of the AutoCAD program, if that is what you desire. If you also wanted to modify these tool uh, palettes, sorry, not tool palettes, the toolbars, what you could do is you can then type in the CUI, custom user interface. You can go to your toolbar over there expand the toolbar, find the one that you want, like draw for an instance, expand it, and these are all our commands underneath it. If I were then to search for one, like maybe, uh, let's say, array, ah, there you go, rectangular array, I can then grab it and then drag it up, click on it, drag it up, and it's bouncing around a bit. <laughs> and then drop it onto my toolbar. So all I did is I searched the command, clicked on the command I wanted, like I'm gonna do polar array now, click on it, drag it, and then drag it up and drop it. And you'll notice on the right hand side, we even get our toolbar preview. Now, just wanted to point out lastly, so if you look here on the left, I've got that toolbar active. This is the toolbar that we're currently actually editing and I'm going to click OK and you'll notice that my toolbar automatically updates. And by the way you can also do um, in the CUI you can also do things like customize ribbon as well if you wanted to. It's a very similar process. Cool guys well I hope this has helped you. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day Thank you. Cheerio. Bye.